Yeah, because uh, yeah, so. well, hearing you hearing you speak about your admiration for sci-fi for those dystopian mm -hmm. future uh, typos, uh, and your love for cold, you would be a perfect fit for Snowpiercer. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, and I and I know a few of the actors like uh, on the series, like Alex Pornovic is. Uh, Yes, a really good friend of mine. Um, he's a he's a legend, you know. Um, yeah, actually. Always. Uh, sorry for interrupting you, but actually, he's the reason why I found out about you because I saw you on one. Oh, wow, really? Stories, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you know, you kind of forget um, the connection between people. And I recently worked with Stephen Ogg, who you know he's been in a lot of stuff, but yep. you know he was. Um, in, you know, most people know him for Walking Dead, you know, great mm -hmm. character. And I was yeah. a fan. The guy looks the same he, like Trevor yes. from GTA, from GTA. Sorry, yes. interrupting you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he is, well, he, yeah. that's his other claim to fame is, is GTA. That's what he was. And, uh, you know, he's this incredibly eclectic character as a human being, you know, and we had just had a lot of fun working together and clicked. And of course, you know, the minute I posted, you know, I didn't actually, didn't click that he is from Alberta and he knows, you know, he literally grew up in the same town as Trisha Helper uh, and then he's Canadian and of course all the Canadian. So when he posted one of my pictures of him, Alex Pornovic was going, oh man, I can't believe you're working with Dennis Lovely. So and that's when I was, oh my God, you know Alex as well. Of course, all the Canadians know each other. Um, but yeah, Alex, uh, Alex, I've known him Oh my God, probably for, you know, 13, 14 years now. He was one of the first um, people I photographed as a portrait session in Canada, you know, um, like in 2009 or something like that. Um, and uh, that photograph, you know, being this 6'4 boxer type guy, um, you know, very rough and tumble, you know, uh, guy, very very delicate and very sensitive photographs of him and you know uh, and i've told this story before you know it's it's kind of like post battlestar galactic i was going back to canada every year and i did this photo shoot with him and uh and then um you know he posted this one of these portraits on facebook and literally you know the next day i had you know 50 direct messages saying hey can we do a photo shoot with you can i do a photo shoot with you can i do a photo shoot i was like okay you know uh I just was shooting every single day for like two, three weeks, you know, because of that one shot of Alex, you know, because I represented him in a very different manner that, you know, most people did. And he's, he's a super sweet human being, a fun guy. Um, I love photographing him because he's, uh, you know, he, he brings a lot to, him. he's a wonderful, wonderful actor. Um, I think, uh, you know, um, I think a really underrated actor too. Um, no. There are two people. Uh, there are two people of that of that sort of vibe. There's um, Mike Dopewood, uh, who is again like you know, uh, and and Alex are both sort of from our part of the world. You know, um, all these sort of serbo Croatian tall guys who are really wide and you know like being hugged by a bear made out of bricks. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I think those both both those guys uh, are just amazing, amazing actors that are just underrated in this world you know those guys should be leading them, you know, in, in so yeah and, and also although the alex looks and uh is this charisma like the gentle giant he actually comes from the line of yugoslavian boxing world champions so yes <laughs> if he absolutely. gets pissed he gets yeah. pissed <laughs> right yeah yeah no I, you know if, if i if i was uh in trouble or getting in a bar fight, I would want him there with me. The problem is that if I was getting in a bar fight, it would probably be because of him as well. So <laughs> it's kind of like a catch twenty two. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. He he is he's he's just a you know for for those uh, who who are um, lucky enough to know him well, he's a, a very sensitive person, a very kind. Um, a, you know, very sensitive human being. He just happens to be a really big guy you know and i think too you know if you're if you're he's a smart guy you know he's an intellectual as well so if you are if you're built like that but you're um you're you're smart you know and you're an empathetic kind sensitive human being you, you're oh just 
you have a lot of range for great work as an actor, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. I love Alex. He's, he's been a constant in my life. And, you know, we will uh, randomly, you know, text each other you know, inappropriate stuff yeah. you know, and call each other names and make each other laugh all the time. Um, but yeah, he's a great yeah. guy. We stay genuine, uncensored and unscripted and we always will as we have to order our usual. Share us and subscribe us and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Because all.